There is a name for the ultimate female fantasy. The Chippendales. The Chippendales. Known as the sexiest men alive, their hot and sweaty show has toured the globe. And they know what it takes to turn women on. Living in the opposite universe is Adam Wasson, literature professor at UCLA. For Macbeth, what happens is that's the way he's looking at history, right? You can't change history. You can't change... But he has a fantasy of his own. I've always wished I could be one of those guys that girls just look at and they're just like, um... Um... In just four weeks' time, this bookworm will be taking it all off in front of a panel of experts and trying to fake it as an elite Chippendale dancer. Just fuck somebody out of Where's Waldo land and turn them into a ladies' man. I don't know how easy that's going to be. I don't know if that's going to work. Does this geeky family man have what it takes to cut it as a sexy stud? Where's daddy's fat white belly? Or will he be revealed as a fake? but a walking shadow. 34-year-old Adam Wasson has just four weeks to transform himself from college professor to Chippendale dancer. I literally get up in the morning, I play with the baby for a while, I go to work, I come back, I make dinner, and then watch an hour of TV and go to bed. I mean, it's the kind of life that you sort of promise yourself when you're 23 that you're never going to be like that, but you are. Helping Adam will be Kevin Doc Cornell, star performer of the Chippendales. You, you gotta have Good body, dance ability, you know, uh, athleticism. Most important, you got to have a great attitude. Doc will oversee Adam's physical training as well as help him transform into the kind of man that makes women scream. The gym is a major part of our job. Our diet is a very, very major part of our job. I guess I'm a little bit anxious right now about having to take my clothes off. I haven't worked out in a very long time. With his literary background, why would Adam want to be an exotic dancer? Let's face it, if you grow up and you're always like six inches taller than everybody else and you're skinny and you're a little awkward or a little goofy it's always going to be kind of a fantasy for you to be one of those guys in the next month i'll have to close his books and rely on his looks i'm six six i can't dance i am pasty white and i'm quite skinny a short flight later, Adam's in Las Vegas, home of the Chippendales. Armed with his protein powder, he enters an entirely new world. He arrives at his mentor Doc's house, but no one seems to be home. Hello? Time is it? I'm gonna be here for a month. Mm, dude. I'm so... <laughs> sorry to wake you up, dude. It's, it's only like four in the afternoon. Oh my god, I'm really sorry, bro. I get, just got in from tour last night, so the boys came over. And, Late like, night? A little bit, a little bit. I, I was really, really surprised when, when I opened the door. He looks like a, a really nice guy, but nice guys just don't cut it. Maybe a tan and a haircut might change my mind a little. Those glasses just killed me. But you know what? We'll work on it. Adam's barely adjusted when he's whisked to the Rio Hotel and Casino where the Chippendales perform nightly. Look at this place. This is it, huh? <laughs> the Rio. Game on, baby. Game on. <laughs> in just four weeks, Adam will be judged in front of a live audience. Doc lays out the challenges ahead. He will have to get physically cut, learn to dance, and crank up his sex appeal. How long did it take you to learn how to dance? It's really hard to say. I mean, I was partially doing it for about a year or two, you know, and you're getting thrown into a hurricane right now. I went through phases, you know. First, I went through working out without even doing anything like this. I just went to the gym. It took me a year to, to transform my body. A year? A year. For you? To and get it, I mean, I, I, I trans... You can, you can definitely make a difference. Definitely make a difference. Dave! David Caldwell, producer of the Chippendales, will help guide Adam through his new world. 
David, the ringmaster. Oh, this yeah. is Adam. Nice, nice to meet you. Adam. Wow, you're tall. Yes. Right. This is your brand. <laughs> is this is yeah, this is your brand new problem. Like you didn't have enough problems. This oh, is your well, brand new I thought I was tall. Oh, I wouldn't you say that. Tall, so what do you know about Chippendales? Well, I know that they are uh, real buff. So do you dance? No. Dance training? No. Do you dance at your wedding? No. So you go to clubs? No. Do you dance socially? No. Dance? No. 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 Have you ever been on stage before? No. Okay. Well, we're going to start at the beginning. Well, that's good. I had no idea how many people there were going to be. I mean, this line goes around the block. They seem ready to have a good time, though. Adam, who has never danced in his life, first has to see what he's got to live up to. Break it down one time. Yeah. All right. No way. I can move like that. I cannot believe that I'm supposed to do that. Can actually dance. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 this is some show. It's like it's like you don't really, <laughs> you feel like you shouldn't be watching. It's pretty impressive. I need a drink. The show ends around 1 a.m. Exhausted. Doc is pretty much the exact opposite of me. He goes to sleep at 6 in the morning. I get up at 6 in the morning. I like to read before I go to bed. And, you know, I was looking for a magazine. There's not a magazine. There's no print in the house. Frankly... Even his uh, two-dimensional cutout is in better shape than I currently am. Literature professor Adam Watson has just four weeks to transform himself into a sexy Chippendale. Mentor Doc has devised a tough program to whip his flabby body into shape. Uh, I don't, you know what? I don't, I don't think that's going to... It's all that's in your head right now is that boss of flexing and releasing. I thought you said you was ready for this. It's heavy, dude. Today's obviously the easy day. He hasn't been training, hasn't been working out. The next four or five days is just going to be all about the pain. Adam can barely get through the workout. I'm so ready. Already? Yes. That was one, one bicep exercise. Usually I do five to seven. Five to seven different exercises. That's the first exercise. Are you serious? We're going to do five different exercises? Five biceps? Every time I do these, I'm thinking about uh, being up on that stage. First day at the gym, I might as well stay home. I got a job to do, and he's, he's kind of making it more difficult. So, you know, he's gonna have to step up. I think I just need to get more used to the the intensity of it. Just the set after set after set, and your muscles just get all, you know, tired and pumped up and stuff. And, you still have to just keep pushing through it. Chippendale's dance captain, Wes Selleck, has danced professionally since he was 15. He'll be teaching Adam, who has never danced a day in his life, the sexy moves essential to becoming a Chippendale. Hi, I'm Adam. Uh, I guess I'm supposed to rehearse. All right, I'm, guys. What? The first session is to evaluate Adam's natural dance ability. Three. Step left. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two. <laughs> so you're punching in front, behind. Oh, I see. It's one, two. <laughs> Adam's challenge is to learn the Chippendales opening routine that'll be performing on stage in less than two weeks' time. Four, five, six, six, seven. We're going to get him into the opening of the show. God willing, it, it, it's going to go smoothly. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's so fast, dude. He can count to eight, which is a bonus. He has no natural dance talent at all. Step, roll, cross, turn. 
It might be one of the worst answers I've ever seen. Back. Turn. Arm, arm, arm. Pup, throw. He is the worst dancer I've ever seen. After the first troop rehearsal, Wes realizes they need some serious one-on-one -on -one training. <laughs> I don't want to hurt myself on that one. <laughs> if I can learn to do this, I want to be in the front row, man. I want to be doing my thing. Well, now's your decision, because choreography is going to be different going to the front line or the back line. It is? Yep, just a touch. So what if I said I wanted to be in the front, but then I kind of lost my nerve? You're there. You're I'm in the front. There. That's not pretty. Or I don't want to be in the front. You don't? I do. You do? I do. You're there. All right. All right. So we just hit grab. You're going to jump forward with your left leg. One, two. Heels, toes, heels. Heels, toes, heels. I feel proud, man. I mean, 24 hours ago, I had never danced a step. And today, I mean, granted, I suck, but Wes has taken me through it. I mean, it's like we're dancing. We're definitely dancing, aren't we, Wes? We're going to need some help there. But we're there. We're, we're dancing. dancing. We're dancing. I mean, it might not be pretty, but we're dancing. Adam studies the show nightly to learn the choreography. And Wes assigns to Professor homework, practices new moves everywhere he goes. His next move to becoming a Chippendale is a golden tan. Wow. And he's still reaching for that ripped body. A tan don't make you tough, does it? <laughs> Ah, that was hard. Concentrate on your shoulders, not your triceps. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, Doc. Feeling the pain. I'm feeling it. He's smiling feeling too kind much. Of He's not up, working man. out hard enough. I'm telling you right now, five pounds in one week, I'm going to have five pounds of more muscle on me. I'm working out every day this week. 207.6. 207.6. Stick boy Adam has one week to gain five pounds. Doc loads him up on supplements. I don't even know what this is, but you must need then, it. Then, <laughs> issues a challenge. We got a challenge going on. If you can't gain five pounds in the next week, you have to wear this when you're working out at the gym. <laughs> that is not right. That's absolutely hot, all right? If I don't gain five pounds by next week, I will wear these ridiculous panties to work out. If I do, you have to read a book. You either have a choice of wearing the panties or reading a book. I'll, I'll try this. <laughs> right. Adam's getting cocky, so Doc decides it's time to take his training to a higher level. Next phase of the training. So what are we going to do? You're going you're gonna to run out here, man. I am? Yeah, in about like an hour's worth of running out here, you will either find God, your Indian spirit, or something. Running in extreme training is just, you know, another part that keeps, not only does it get you in physical condition, but it gives you character as well. But you're out here, it's just you, you're all by yourself, you know, and you're here and you you find places in your mind that you need to go. This is good on many, many levels. Plus, it's beautiful out here. I can chill out here all day and watch them run. You better not fall asleep tonight, because I know where you have your bat. My what? I know. I'm going to get a tire iron and, oh. and change my tire. Right, I cannot run up this fast. You're going to get a tire iron and change my tire? Slow down. You better not leave me out here. You can do it. You can make it. Yeah, it's definitely no chariots of fire. I'm just, uh, I can't get my breath. I feel like I'm going to puke. It's one weekend. Wes and Doc think yeah. it's time for Adam to face his David first test on stage. They ask Chippendale's producer, David Caldwell, if he can host it tonight's show. So, uh, maybe, maybe throwing him in as a host tonight. Let him teach him a thing or two. Yeah, it's, it's the best way to throw him to the wolves. Adam will have to greet the ladies, bare his chest, and dance solo for the first time. 
They take him to wardrobe where he'll don the Chippendales trademark tight leather pants. Hi, I'm Adam. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Do you have underwear on? Yes. Okay, that's cool. I want to be a little more muscular before I have to come out. Well, this will be the before and after. Where's the Polaroid camera, Bobby? I think. Can I get some protein powder in here or something? I don't know. All right. These are really, really tight. Here it is. <laughs> this is it. It's all smoke and mirrors anyhow, right, Kevin? Cocoa butter. All right, this is... Is that for my skin? We call it instant abs. Because it pulls your abs out a little bit more when you put this stuff on. Yeah? Yeah. That's what I need, uh, you'll man. Wait, you'll wait for this till short time. All right. Get sunburn or something like that. Do, we, do you have any instant ass? Because what I really need is an ass. No, I don't have any. Time. That's not going to work for me? That's a shame. You're going to want to step up on this chair? Yeah. Just get up on this box, yeah? Don't fall. Because you'll look like an ass. I'm going to look like an ass anyway, dude. That's if very I fall, true. I'll look like an ass That's for a shorter amount of time. <laughs> Try not to look like that big of an ass. <laughs> if That's I fall, I'm not, an ass for see, five seconds. See, no, no, no. Because no, no. now you food. got the colors and collars on. You're representing. All right, all right. Don't be you. messing up. Don't I be messing you. up. I'm going to try to represent. No naps. Oh, you got to work. Go Hosting drunk. is a job. I was thinking I'd go get drunk in between no, the lines. Not, not till after the show. Oh, there's plenty to do. Walking girls to their seats, to the bathroom, making sure you walk around and talk to them. I am, man. People are actually paid to meet Chippendales, and I feel like I'm this gigantic faker, which I guess I am. And uh, I'm going to be perpetrating this fraud, but here we go. How are you ladies doing tonight? Those are beautiful hats. I feel that I've proven myself as a Chippendale, and I was quite nervous, and I feel that I got the oh, moment. Somebody just grabbed my butt. <laughs> I've never had even remotely this much female attention. Hey, look, he's got a proud look on his face. Can you believe that? A proud look on his face because he's got that dance down right there. I'm pretty high. I'm feeling pretty high right now, I gotta say. I've never been on a stage performing at all in any way, shape, or form. I'm feeling pretty pumped up. I'm feeling I'm feeling like I got through the first test. Adam's pleased. But Wes isn't. Poor guy. I just, I felt really bad for him up there. And I know he thought he did really good, but, you know, th there's a, a time when you take a six foot seven guy and you, you put him up on a box and he thinks he's sexy and it just turns out he looks gay. Oh, yeah. Literature professor Adam Watson has three weeks left to transform himself into a sexy buff Chippendale. If anything's going to help him, the weight training's going to help him the most. He's been training hard, but his mentors think his sex appeal remains unappealing. I think our focus right now for the next couple of days is going to make him, try to make him look more masculine, more butch. We just can't have a reenactment of the hosting situation. It, it was all wrong. I think he was trying too hard to come across as sexy. and You just, you can't do that. It, it just has to sort of come natural. Punch, punch, hit, hit, okay. step, hit. It's not necessarily like bigger, but like sharper. Yeah. The key to trying to look sexy is not trying to look sexy. Does that make sense? Not totally. <laughs> you have to try to click off the fact that you're in Chippendales. Yeah. So, and like you're just like in your basement shaking yeah, it and absolutely. you're like relaxing, you're just kind of... Yeah. To help him look and act sexier, it's an all-out assault on Adam's appearance as he's in for a serious makeover. He can't help you, nobody can. <laughs> all right, I know exactly what colors we're going to do. I'm definitely ready for the transformation. I'm tired of like everybody mocking my Waldo look. I'm tired of like everybody mocking the glasses and mocking like the hair. Dude, this is awesome. Well, you got the look now. Now you just gotta get out there and shake those hips. All right. I'm definitely ready to be transformed and I'm working on my body. I wanna show those guys what's what. What? Strutting out in his new gear and a set of contact lenses, Adam's off to celebrity photographer Denise Trisello for headshots. It's Vegas, baby, and Adam's hot to try his new look out on the town.
What's wrong with you? That was wrong. <laughs> what did I do wrong? I did it right. You're not counting. You got to count. The party's over. Manager David Caldwell watches to determine if Adam's ready for his next test. An on-stage appearance in tonight's sold-out show. Hey. Good, good. He's got moves, and I think if he keeps practicing those, but I'm not worried about that. But right. I'm just worried about uh, everything's going on in his face. Yeah. Is um, is so tight, and he's still got this. Um, he he brings his elbows in or something like he's guarding himself, uh, and uh, you know the certainly it, it isn't sexy yet. Adam, what's hey up? man, how you doing? Good. I just spoke to David. Uh, he doesn't feel like you're right for tonight, so we're gonna work with you real hard. We'll, we're gonna push for Sunday. He just thought you were too dear in headlights, so we're gonna take the next couple days, work on your face, work on your expression. Just focus on the face. The search is on for Adam's missing sex appeal and stage presence. Reinforcements are called in in the form of Second City actress and drama coach Kay Cannon. Because you will have the confidence. We're going to run the gamut of emotions right now. What, what I'm going to do is uh, the, the line of dialogue. What's the line of dialogue you've actually said today? Dude, I do not like this coconut syrup. Right. Very funny. <laughs> that is the line that you're going to repeat every time. What's going to happen is you're going to say that line. I'm going to say freeze. Continue in the emotion of ecstasy. Oh, I do not like this coconut syrup. Freeze! Continue in the emotion of jealousy. Dude, I do not like this coconut syrup. Freeze! Continue in anger. Dude, I do not like this coconut syrup. One more time. But really let go. Really let go. Dude, I do not like this coconut syrup. Let me hear you, actually. Dude! You can scream at me. Scream at me. Dude, I do not like this coconut syrup. Good. Freeze. I believe the last one. First one, it was like you were doing what you kind of think is angry. Let's be angry. It's also angry. hard to yell at someone. You oh, know, oh yeah. Especially when they're nice. But then again, it's going to be hard to be have sexual overtones with someone that is a stranger. That's true too. Especially if you're like married or you have a significant other. Like, so you really gotta like. I need to believe that you're really big in me. Okay. That you're really into me. Okay. Okay. Continue in the emotion of horny. Take your time. Just find it for yourself. Okay, good. Now let's loosen up your upper body with the same line. So back up a little bit and like approach me okay. with this with that line in the in the uh, motion of horny. Okay. Dude, I do not like this coconut syrup. Okay, it's not necessarily horny as it is like you might attack me. <laughs> I always thought that was desire, like <laughs> aggressively horny. <laughs> so so let's think more seductive. When you walked up like this, with this hand like comfortable, yeah. you, when your whole body looks comfortable, I believe that you're into me. Yeah. The minute you tense up, I think something's going on. Right. So whenever, when you go into your, your dance and, and, you, and you begin to start, right. think comfort seductive. Think okay. you're seductive, horny, and the two differences, as opposed to aggressive. It's Sunday, and time for Adam to make his big debut with the Chips in their opening routine. Getting chunks of his routine. Kick it. Yeah.
this time, even Adam knows he's bad. He had the extreme deer and headlight syndrome, man. He was trying so hard to keep the sexy face, and he was just like, it was raw fear. Raw fear is all I saw in his face. I did it 57 times this afternoon. Every time, boom, 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 perfect. And then I'm on stage, and I jump forward, and it was just nothing. I mean, I just completely lost my mind. And all he can remember to do is walk across stage and back. He almost forgot to take his jacket off, he almost forgot to take our jackets. Not only did he screw up his own job, but he screwed up everybody else as well. It's so different with an audience. People and the noise and the speed of it. Well, you know, you'll never get a number right until you mess it up on stage first. Normally you don't mess it up that bad, but you always mess something up and he, like, he would. He had, like, the first two eight counts, he was ready, he was rock and roll, and he felt like but uh, then all I could remember was the sexy look, and that didn't even turn out so good. It was terrible. I mean, basically, if I do half that bad in my solo, the gig is up. The jig is up. I'm completely screwed. Honestly, I, I'm a little scared about you know, forgetting the final routine while he's doing it. Time to get serious. With only nine days left, Wes has the uphill challenge of getting Adam to memorize his routine for the final test and make him look sexy doing it. Stage, reading a book, yes. You'll pause, look up, shut the book, throw. They decide Adam's persona should be the passionate professor. Then, Wes takes him step by step through the intricacies of his final routine. The pumpkin's tough, man. Center, center this foot. <laughs> that looks scary, man. All right, ready? Yeah. Give me your hand so you can feel it. All right. More forward. Oh! That's it. It's a long way down from up here, Wes. <laughs> Eight. Ah! <laughs> Eight. One. Ah! Six. Seven. Eight. Perfect. Pull. What Adam doesn't know is that Wes has a test in mind. It's time to show what he's made of and take it all off in front of a live audience. I want you to really dedicate yourself over the next week and a half to learn the choreography, get it in your brain, work on your style, because you'll be performing your number in two days. You just taught me the first thing today. Yes. If it doesn't go well, then you'll have to take a ballet class. All right. All right. Yeah. That's a, that's, listen, that's that's good impetus for me to work hard. You get there. You I go. will definitely give you that. Basically, I have two days to learn most of the final routine and perform it in front of an audience. So I'm pretty uh, freaked out. After screwing up the opening number on stage with the chips, Adam must perform in public again in two days. First, he has to fulfill his other challenge. He had one week to gain five pounds, or he has to wear women's pink scanty panties to the gym. This is just not right. All right, you're done with the Gatorade. It's time to weigh in. If Adam passes, Doc has to read a book. Not just any trashy novel, but Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. Are you ready for them tidy shorts? I cannot wait. I cannot wait to give you a quiz on that book. Step up. All right. Come on, baby. Adam's gained over eight pounds. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Wow, you've been drinking a lot of water, buddy. <laughs> Here it is. Oh, give me, like, give me a, a synopsis, a breakdown of like the story. I can't, man, because I'm gonna quiz you on it. I mean, so, just a, a like a marginal breakdown, just like a. Okay, okay. So where I'm going with this? Okay, what you got is two daughters, and they basically have to fall in love and get married. So it's a, it's a love story. That sounds interesting. With only a week left, Wes has set up a major test. Adam's anxious as he must perform his final routine and take it all off for the first time. I don't think I'm going to be able to perform it flawlessly, to be perfectly honest. Adam has no idea where they're taking him to perform. Are we going to a trailer park? So it better not be a high school. The senior center? It's the senior center? Wow, man. But hey, yo, old ladies appreciate wild entertainment as well. How do you know, man? What if they don't know what's coming? This is going to be like stripping for my mother-in-law. Yeah. Hi, Doug. You look like an English professor. Every time he's getting ready to teach the class. Wow, that's great. That's over before it starts. It's embarrassing. <laughs>
He went down to booty shorts and kept his socks on. That was hot. He was, he was nervous and shaking right here. I don't know what he's going to do in front of like a, yeah. a real audience. You had the stage, lights, I mean, the pressure of the final <laughs> test. Uh, what do you think, Ross? He needs so much work. Well, how do you feel you, you did? I felt that my stage presence was better than I expected. Do you feel like you need to take a ballet class? Well, obviously I didn't exactly nail the choreography, so the terms of our bet are definitely would suggest I need to take a ballet class, yes. I'm not wearing a tutu though, Wes, I'll tell you that right now. Now it's well, Adam's turn for quiz. payback as he springs his quiz on Doc's reading assignment. Look what I found. Where did you find that? <laughs> it was underneath the couch. It's a really good spot for it, actually. <laughs> You'll be comforted to know that this is not a difficult quiz. Cool. Question number one. What's the title of the book? Right, right. Oh, come on now. Give me some. All right, all right. Question number two. Who wrote the book? That's awesome. All right, look, look at him, look at him. I get a certificate for that. <laughs> Question number three. Who gets married at the end of the book? Michelle. Oh, that's disastrous. There is no Michelle. And I saw another name in there. Elizabeth. That's one. You got one more. Started with a D. Dog star. <laughs> is there a time limit? Yeah. Can I see this no, you could not. Mr. Darcy. You got it! Yeah. You got it! You got it right! With only two days remaining, it's a race to the finish as Adam and his mentors throw themselves into his training. I'm confident that he's going to get up there and he's going to look good. I'm actually sitting in the house watching him and he could almost pass. Obviously my spins, um, and there's also this, this, this hip thing. Um, it's just hard for me because my back is really sore. I think the senior center pretty much got me over the clothes awkwardness. You can go to a senior center and drop trout. You can pretty much do it anywhere. We need to like focus on each moment of the routine. Like really, like when you have a moment where you're supposed to be connecting with the audience, we gotta see it with your face. But you really have to feed off of them. You know, like they, they give you an energy, you give them an energy back. If there's nothing there, they're, you're not giving off an energy. I just want you to get used to you. You know, just get used to you. And uh, like that, that's that's a very natural look right there. That's that's sexy. That's good. I mean, I like you know, I like to perform. So I'm excited. I mean, I'm excited that we're in this great place with great lighting and music and steam and stuff. It's very cool. I looked in the mirror today, and I couldn't believe it. My body looked like it looked when I was 25 years old. I mean, I'm not saying I look like Chippendale, but I sure look like I'm in great shape for a 34-year-old guy. Nice. Come on, 20. You got 30 more. One, two, three, four, nine, 30. One, two, three, eight, nine, 50. It's unbelievable how far he's come in the month. Unbelievable. I, I think my chances are good. I mean, if there's one thing I've learned about being a Chippendale, it's that you have to be cocky all the time. Definitely feeling nervous. Um, but that's the downside. The upside is I'm also really excited. I mean, I've been working my butt off the last three weeks to learn how to dance, and now... I get to show everybody. I mean, I get to show the world that I can dance. Or that I can't. <laughs> the big day has arrived. Adam's competing in an exotic dance showcase in front of a live audience and a panel of experts to try and fake it as a Chippendale. He will be up against three professional exotic dancers. Trevor's been dancing with U.S. Mail for four years and has competed in three great American strip-offs. Jerry's been dancing professionally for 10 years and has performed in competitions throughout the Southwest. 
Justin dances with the men of California Steel and is a recent title holder of the Sexplosion competition. Adam has only danced professionally for three minutes at a Chippendale show. His career highlight was performing at a senior center for 70 elderly women. Watching them perform and critiquing their ability will be three expert judges who have no idea that one dancer is a fake. Angela Sampras is the producer of the sexiest female review in Las Vegas, X. Chris Domain owns one of the country's most popular male strip clubs, La Bear. Andrea Sutter is a top bachelorette party planner from New Orleans. It's time for the dancers to strut their stuff. From behind the stage, Adam's mentors watch nervously on monitors as the show begins. How are y'all doing out there tonight? Ladies, my name is Matt Kennedy, and I'm here to welcome you to our, our first annual Male Exotic Dancer Showcase. Ladies, we love you everywhere you go. Make some noise for the one and only Trevor. Trevor. <laughs> Stage for he was a performer. Give it up for Jerry, ladies. Wow, oh, man, that's an outfit. <laughs> Sexy. Well, he moved well. He was definitely comfortable. The first three guys have put on a sexy show. Can Adam measure up to their standards? And I want to know what you all think. Ladies, give it up for Adam. Give him the positive energy. Positive energy. <laughs> Adam's routine was not without flaws. Did he recover well enough to convince the panel? Overall, I think it was a very good competition. It was very exciting to watch. Good moves, good dancing. Um, each one of them had different aspects that were good. How would they feel if they found out that one of the men is a fake? I could think of who I would think it would be. Wow, OK. I, I can believe that that may be true. I would think it would be then the uh, second, uh, Jerry. I would think Adam. You know what? Let me take that back. 
Let me take that back. I would be either Adam or Justin. Andrea must make a decision. Uh-oh. I would pick Adam. Adam, the only reason I would think is he seems so accessible that, you know, he didn't quite have the detachment that, you know, sometimes the dancers can have. The mentors are on the edge of their seats. With one vote each, it's down to the final expert. If he names Adam, all is lost. I would have to say that would be Jerry. Was it Jerry? I am shocked it would be Adam. Oh, Adam. But he did real well. He, uh, he bobbled once with the chair, but that could happen to a seasoned veteran. A very anxious Adam's brought in to hear the results. Why do you look so grim, man? It was just the chair. What the hell happened? <laughs> you did recover, but it, I, I think it was a shaky moment. It was very shaky. It was very shaky. How many times did, did it just happen perfectly? You yeah! You rock! You did it! Dude, why'd you yeah! do that, dude? Why'd you hit the face, man? We had to! Congratulations! Uh, who told you to do that? You, Wes never would have done that to me. Let me tell you anything. You would have done it. Wes never would have done that to me. You should be very proud. That's a very hard thing to do. Cheers, guys. Thank you guys, Thank you guys, Thank you guys, you guys so much. You guys, you guys are like the best. Man. Seriously. Awesome. After an incredibly intense month, it's time for Adam to head back to his family in Los Angeles. Get the hell out of here! <laughs> Crazy? Oh, man. You have everything? I got everything, man, including talent now. <laughs> Whoa, easy tiger. <laughs> easy tiger. Doc and Wes have arranged for a limo to take Adam to the airport in Chippendale style. That's fun. All right, man. It's been so much fun, man. Such a good time. You're the best host ever, dude. An unbelievable adventure. It was way more than I thought it could possibly be. Just spin master. Spin master. And it was really about the people. Wes was an incredible teacher. And Doc, it's like, it's like living with a brother. It really is. It, it is a brotherhood, like Doc said. Slow down. You better not leave me out here. I feel privileged to have been a part of it. I do. And just a doc.